You want to change the momentum of something? Then you have to apply an impulse. What's an impulse? That's hitting it over some time interval. Down here, I have a, see that, see that uh, golf ball on the tee? See this golf club right here? What's the momentum of the golf ball right now? Zero. Watch this. Now the golf ball has momentum. How did it get it? How did it change from zero to something? How did it? Because I hit the darn thing. That's how come it did, right? Okay. And if I want to change the momentum a lot, how do I hit it? A little or a lot? Hit it a lot. And I want to change the momentum of that golf ball humongously, I hit that thing as hard as I can. And all we're saying here is, let, let's see if we can read the music. If you want to get the momentum to change a lot, then apply the biggest force you can. Hit it as hard as you can. What's the T for? That's why you follow through. When you hit it, you don't just and stop. You hit, da, 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 da. you make that force last as long as possible. And if you can like double the time during which that force acts, what will you do to the momentum? Double it. Let's suppose you can hit it so that follow through makes the force, pretend, it makes the force last three times as long. Three times as long. So three tenths of a second instead of one tenth of a second. How much will the momentum change? Three times. How much does the mass change? Not at all. So what changes three times? How fast the ball goes. How fast the ball goes change tell you how far the ball goes. Isn't that true? So you follow through to get the most momentum possible.